to the Marriage Minutes podcast and now YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. I am one of the hosts. I am Augustus Corbett. I am a pastor and I'm also an attorney. And with me is my lovely wife, Antonia Corbett. And she is the love of my life, the mother of my children, my best friend, my soulmate, my girlfriend, and everything else. Ooh. Welcome to the Marriage Minutes Podcast and oh, YouTube channel. I like channel. all that. I like that. I like that. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. And you are my hubby. Yes. My husband. Yes. My pastor. Yes. And my best friend. Yes. 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 For what? 33 going on 34 yes. years. 34 years in May. In May. Mm-hmm. 1988. Yes. May 14th, 1988, approximately 2.50 p.m. Yes. is when we started the ceremony. Am yes. I right about that? You're right. You're exactly right. It should have started at 2 o'clock, <laughs> but everybody was running late. Yes. <laughs> so we were late, <laughs> and it started at 2.50, but we did get married. Yes. Yeah, I remember someone in particular uh, was late, and it's, it was a mother. You it know, was probably be- my mother. Well, between us, we got we had four mothers. Yeah, right? that's true. So one of yeah. those mothers, if I recall, mm-hmm. one of those mothers w- was late. Yeah. Uh, but we finally got it done. Yes, we got it done. You were there with no socks on. No socks on. Yes. And you my told knees. Me how nervous you were. Yes, my knees were trembling. Yes. My yes. knee. I forgot to put socks on. Right. Right. That so. was funny. That was so funny <laughs> to me. <laughs> But and it, you were a hundred pounds lighter. Hundred pounds lighter. Yes, than that's you are right, now. Than I am now. Yeah. Well, you kept all your weight about the same. What are you within four or five pounds? Of I'm what about. You I'm within um, twelve pounds. Okay. Yeah. Twelve. Within pounds. about twelve pounds. Excellent. Mm-hmm. She's got to be the absolute most gorgeous. Um, I won't tell you age. Oh no! You know what? I'm okay with that now. Okay. I used not. To like to tell my age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe the Lord rebuked me. <laughs> okay. Said you need so to celebrate those I years, right? I need to celebrate. Yes. Yeah, so many people wish they were still living yes. on the earth. That's right. So in a couple of weeks, I'll be 61. 61, 61, 61. You really don't look 61. Really. You still look 45. Well, you have been so nice well, and it's husbandly. True. It's true. No, it is true. It is true. So thank you. Thank God thank you. You, you've you kept your weight off. You've stayed sexy and fine and so forth. So we thank God for it. Yeah, yeah, we do. Well, listen, this is the second season. The is it the second or third? <laughs> I thought it was the second. I don't know between the second and third because with this pandemic, things have just gotten blurred for this me. This is true. You know, this the time true. has just run together. This is true. So, yeah. Second it's not third. our first season, it's not that's the for first sure, season. right? I'm thinking it's second, but it could okay. be third. Okay. Could be. But you're right. COVID has really just knocked everything out of yes. whack and out of joint. Yes. Yes. Um, but we're back for another season. We are back. That's the point. We are back. Yes. Yes. And we wanted to come today and just sort of, I guess, kind of reintroduce ourselves. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And reintroduce the Marriage Minutes podcast. And we have added a YouTube channel. Oh, wonderful. Yes, I like that addition. Yes. A YouTube channel. Yes. So mm-hmm. there'll be a video in addition to podcasts because, you know, people listen and watch based on their own sort of schedule yeah. and their own taste. Right. You know, sometimes folks may not want to or may not be in a situation where they can watch the video. Right. But they can listen to it on the way to work or on the way home or, you know, just yes. before bed or something. And then some folks don't want to listen. They want to see. They want right. to watch. So right. we're providing uh, both both experiences. Right. That is good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, give folks options, just like you said, at their convenience. Yes. You know, very good. So what are some of the topics that we intend to cover this season? Well, I know one that has been on our hearts um, 
I think probably the next episode, perhaps even, we may talk about children being in the middle, caught in the middle of divorces. Yes. That's a big, big to one. do, mm-hmm. you know. And with my background being in social work and in child welfare and dealing with um, families in crisis and, you know, just the whole family dynamics and divorces and children um, having problems due to the divorce or parents just battling one another after the divorce. I think that would be really good because we really do. I have a heart for kids just like you do, a heart for the children. So we want to talk about that, I know for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that conversation because, as I said in the opening, I am a pastor, so I've married many people. Right. But I'm also an attorney. Yep. And our firm handles divorces. Right. So we have walked people through the unfortunate and tragic experience of divorce. Yeah. And quite often those divorces include children. Right. And children, yes, are often caught in the middle of feuding parents. Yes. Or to you know, to, to, to be fair to the parents, sometimes it's not that the parents are just feuding, but it's because one or the other or both think that one of the other parents is unsafe or uh, is not good for the child, so they fight it out yes. in court. Right, through those custody battles. Yes. And that's when, when I was, you know, I recently retired, so yes. that is a life-changing um, event for yes, us. Yes, absolutely. So thank the Lord I was able to retire from public service. But when I was consulting in child welfare, you're right, we would get so many calls that were, you know, they were the result of the feuding going on, or it would be the result of, hey, he is um, a drug user, right? or he's abusive, right. or he's having people hang around my kid that I don't like, you know, yes. that I don't think is safe for my child to be around. So, yeah, there are so many different factors involved with these children caught in the middle. Yeah. So that that will be one of the topics that we discuss, but all of our topics will not be that heavy. Right. Okay. I mean, that's just one of the heavier ones. Uh, We like to say we are we do a lot of laughing, loving, learning. Yes. uh, Listening. We could add another L word uh, to the podcast and YouTube channel. So we're going to have a good time. It's going to be informative, but it will be entertaining it will be exciting it will be uplifting well because you know in our couple i love to laugh yes you know i love smiling i love laughing i just i love being joyful that's true so you you're right (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah, you love laughing and all that more than i do quite frankly because I, i guess i'm a little more serious Somber, acting. somber and serious. Yeah, I, all these heavy topics. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you you bring, definitely bring the laughter, right, uh, to right. the marriage, to our uh, relationship. Um, and so, look, that's a part of being married, right? We complement one another, right, right. Mm-hmm. So there's that somber person, and then there's that affable, you know, person who loves to laugh. And both are needed. Both. There are times when we need to be serious and something. Right. But most of the times we need to laugh. <laughs> yeah. You know, because yeah. things are already kind of serious. Just take it easy. Yeah, Just, lighten you up. Know, lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. All right. So, yeah, we complement each other, Absolutely. I believe. Yeah. So, um, I'm looking forward to this upcoming season with all the topics that we have um, on deck. Yeah. And um, you all just please go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Yes. Um, we're going to upload our videos onto, for now at least, we're going to upload them to Saltmakers Church YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. And we will have a separate um uh a separate podcast channel with Podbean. Now you you podcasters and some of you folks who love podcasts, you know what Pod Podbean is. So basically what you do is you go to marriageminutes.podcast.com and you will find our um podcast channel there. Okay? 
Um, you also can find us um, on iTunes. You can find us, I think, on Pandora. Uh, several other places you can find us, okay? And they can go to um, the previous season or seasons, you know, right. whether yes. this was one or, or two prior yeah. seasons, and, and see what we talked about then. That's too, right. right. And it was really good, too. Yeah. You know, we talked about con marital, marital conflict. We right. talked about dating. How we, to stay married during a pandemic. That's right. How to know? handle the pandemic mm -hmm. as a married couple. Yeah. Which I've enjoyed, actually, you know, because, oh, it, yes. It's, <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you know, I haven't enjoyed the pandemic, but I enjoyed being, being in the here house with, with you. me alone. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and because we're, we're empty yeah. nesters. Right. Right. The children are gone. So it's just us two. Right. So we got the whole house to ourselves to do whatever we want to do. Yes. So, yes. So we enjoy it. We love it. And so that brings up another topic definitely would be sex and intimacy, yes. which is so crucial. We'll discuss that. We'll discuss finances, you yes. know, um, how to raise children, you know, just a lot of those. The topics that really do matter when you are in a married relationship. Yes. All of those different topics. I mean, things that we've learned over 33, going on 34 yeah. years. We're closer now to 34 years than right. we're 33. So yep. we've learned some things in those years. Yes. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yes. You know, the beautiful. And we just want to share all of that with you all. And when you mention sex, listen to me, you all. Listen carefully. That fire does not stop burning just because you get older. I like to say, I may get older, but I'm not getting colder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, then you said one time when you were younger, you used to think that people 60 years old, like, yeah, I know they didn't not have having sex. sex. Right, yeah, right. I used to think that. I mean, what are they doing right. at 60, 65? Right. No, that doesn't, that doesn't end. Right. I think it continues. I guess you get at a you point. You think. I mean, you'll be, what, you'll be 60 February. And yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking about a 100-year-old guy, uh, <laughs> 85, 90-year-old. I think I think it's still there, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. So I really do. I heard a pastor and his wife say they put porn to shame. <laughs> <laughs> they, and they're, you know, they're like mid 40s. Right. And they said they put porn to shame. So, so don't think just because we're older, we don't know how to keep it hot and, in the bedroom. And don't, don't think. think because we are uh, committed believers. Yes. Believers should be having the most enjoyable sex, you all. Hot, steamy sex. Yes, yes. I'm glad That's you mentioned our conviction. that. I'm glad you mentioned that because we wrote an ebook on that. Yes, yes. We'll I make that available. That. Yes, when we do our episode on sex, we will have a link in in that YouTube section where you can go and get that ebook. Okay. Right. So, I totally agree. So wonderful. That, yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap up this part. This is, uh, again, just an introduction just to let you know we're back. We're looking forward to episode two or three. She's, it's probably three because she's always right. I'm wrong most of the time. No, but you're the producer, so no, I, I, I take a back seat to this now. So well, I'm yeah, I mean, sure. as, well, as a producer, I'm supposed to know if it's two or three. But I'm not certain. That when you said three, am I, uh oh, well, I may have gotten it wrong. So. Um, but anyway, we're looking forward to the second or third season. We look forward to you being subscribers and followers and all the other lingo, the social media lingo. Um, and so with that said, God bless. Goodbye. Bye-bye.